Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, Love Our Home Zoo. We are the animals, wildlife, and nature lovers. And today we are going to introduce you to one of our favorite birds. There can suck at me! Wow, that was fast! What was that? What was that? I can hardly see it! Oh no, it's coming back to us! Whoa! I caught him! It's the peregrine falcon. Boy, 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 The boy. fastest animal in the planet. The peregrine falcon, also known as the duck hawk, is the most widely distributed bird of prey. It can be found on six continents except Antarctica. Their scientific name is Falco peregrinus. These birds are powerful hunters who prey on other birds and bats. Mm -hmm. They dive at the sight of prey and catch their meal mid-flight. They dive at an amazing speed of 200 miles an hour, making it the fastest animal on Mommy, Earth. They, can go they are one of the largest and most powerful of all the falcons. They have long pointy wings with a short tail. The head and wings are dark. They have a light color breast with spots and stripes under the wings. They have yellow eye, they have yellow around their eyes and beak and they have a black mustache beak, which means little pointy beak. The Pilgrim Falcon is up to 14 to 19 inches tall. And what's their wingspan? Their wingspan is three and a half inch feet. Wow. And how much do they weigh? One and a half, half pounds to three and a half pounds. They prefer wide open spaces. They live mostly in the open country where they hunt over marshes and agricultural land. They thrive near coasts and hunt for ducks and shorebirds but they can be found everywhere, from tundra to deserts. These birds also live in major cities and are found on bridges and skyscrapers. In the cities, they hunt for pigeons. Outside of nesting season, most of these birds migrate. The Irish and the British populations are there all year round, but the others travel to warmer weathers during the winter. They can fly as many as 15,500 miles every year. The name peregrine means wanderer, yet they have an amazing homing instinct and they go back to their favorite areas. One, two. The peregrine falcon is diurnal, not nocturnal. They catch their prey from above. They sit up high on perches waiting for prey and then they dive at incredible speeds called stoops with a clench foot. They strike the prey on their wings and then catch it in midair. <laughs> the most amazing fact about these birds is their speed. They fly at a speed of about 40 to 60 miles per hour and dive to hunt at speeds of up to 220 miles per hour. But how are they able to do that? There are three features that are important to mention that allows them to be the only bird who can fly that fast. Number one, their keel which is their breastbone, their pointed stiff feathers, and their incredible and efficient respiratory and circulatory system. The keel. The bird's breastbones are called keel, and they are designed for flight. The muscles for flapping are attached to the keel. Peregrine's falcon's keel is very large, allowing more muscles to be attached to it, and in turn, producing a more powerful flap. The shape of the wings. The pointed wings are swept back, giving them a streamlined figure, and the curved wings create an effective aerodynamic effect. The feathers are stiff, reducing the drag that can be caused by loose limp feathers. The respiratory system. The peregrine falcon has an amazing ability to breathe effortlessly at 200 miles per hour. No other bird can do this. They can do this because they have a one-way airflow into their lungs and air sacs that keep their lungs inflated even when exhaling. Also, to reduce the air pressure, their nostrils have small bones that look like cones. 
These cones guide the powerful airflow away from the nostrils, allowing them to breathe easily. Otherwise, the pressure would damage the lungs. These cones are called baffles. This design is so perfect that engineers study the Peregrine Falcon to solve modern-day design challenges. They solved a serious flight problem by setting this bird's nostrils and designed a metallic cone for the opening of the jet engine to solve the wind problem they were facing. When jets move at supersonic speeds, their engines can choke and stall because the air moving in front of the engine appears to hit a wall of resistance. Modeling the jet engine similar to the Peregrine Falcon's nostrils solved the problem. Engineers continue to study this bird to inspire future aircraft technologies. And the third amazing feature that allows them to fly so fast is their circulatory system. Their heart beats between 600 to 900 times per minute. This allows more oxygen to travel throughout their bodies, reducing fatigue. The amazing speed of its heartbeat allows the peregrine falcon to flap its wings up to four times per second, further contributing to its speed. The peregrine falcon has excellent binocular vision. It is eight times better than humans. They can see prey up to 1.8 miles away. That is almost two miles. The peregrine falcon has a third eyelid, which they use to clean their eyes off tears and debris. It is a thin, almost transparent lid that they move from side to side. This helps them maintain their good vision when flying fast. They are solitary and territorial and only spend about 16 to 18 weeks with their mate to raise their young. Once the eggs are laid, between three and four, both mother and father help to incubate them and they hatch after a month. The chicks are called ayes. They eat an incredible amount of food. In six days, they double their weight. At three weeks, they are 10 times their size at birth. Their chicks are white, and the older they get, the more they change color. Peregrine, peregrine falcons have a reddish orange egg. The average lifespan is thought to be about 17 years. But the oldest recorded peregrine falcon was at least 19 years and 9 months. This was recorded by its band in Minnesota in 2012, the same state where it had been banded in 1992. Peregrine falcons were virtually eradicated from North America by pesticide poisoning, specifically DDT, in the 1950s and 60s. They became an endangered species, but have made an incredible rebound once the use of DDT and other chemicals was reduced and banned in the 70s. Thanks to significant recovery efforts by many, the peregrine falcon are now a regular sight in many large cities and coastal areas. Thankfully, it is currently listed in the IUCN Red List as least concern. We hope you enjoyed learning with us. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue to make more videos and continue to contribute to all conservation efforts by spreading the word and love for all animals. Please share this video and join us in raising awareness and spreading love on Earth. Next week, we will be doing a video on... Red pandas! And we cook them On the red pandas! Don't miss it. Everybody loves this video, guys. We actually have amazing videos. I'm a baby red panda. We'll show you our video from the Washington, D.C. Um, zoo. See you next time. Bye.